Okay, so uh, let me see how quickly we can get this uh, clarified. The, the question is based on 9608 paper 1-2 of October, November 2017, and this is about to pass assembly. We know that the assembly process has a problem of forward referencing, and to solve that problem, we create a simple table so that we avoid forward referencing. Now, simple tables are basically tables that consist of the variables, labels like this, uh, and basically all identifiers. On the first pass, the assembly process adds entries to a simple table. The following simple table shows the first five entries uh, pathway through the first pass. The circular labels show the order in which the assembler made the entries in the table. Now we're supposed to basically complete the table using these circular labels as references to show the order in which you traced through the code. So that's basically the program, program code. This is a part of the program and this is basically data. Right? Now let's try to understand what they're expecting of us here. They have given the, symbol, the symbolic entries. That's basically the labels and identifiers. Sometimes they will have constants defined as well. Then the relative address is in relation to this program, how far or how many memory locations would you skip? So for example, when you start with start prog, when you take start prog, the label here, that's the first thing you do. Then you put number one here, label one. And this is the declaration or the identification of this label. So it is in the very beginning that is at location zero in relation to the program. So this would be one, this would be two in relation to the whole program. Now, number three, step three is to go to the next line, read value. When you take value, oh, sorry, uh, before that. So after this, is you go down here, get offset, but offset is not defined anywhere yet. Remember, this is our first pass. So when you take offset, we don't know it. So you say unknown and put the next thing, label four, now label five. Go to the next line. You have end prog. Oh, sorry, we skipped something. So level five is value. Now, do we know value? No. So that's the next thing we are supposed to do, value. So we label six. What is value? Unknown. So let's just say unknown. Value is unknown. Then we go to level seven. We go to step seven or action seven. Next line says jump if equal to end prog. Let's put end prog. It's the first encounter of end prog. Do we know what end prog means here? No. So then it's unknown. That would be the eighth step or action. Then after you get end prog, next one, there's nothing new. It's a command, as a command, reuse of offset, no declaration. We have offset already. Next, next, we have offset already. Next, start prog, we already have it here. It's just reusing it. And we, we already have it here, so it's not a problem. Next one, end prog. We now found end prog. So end prog, detecting end prog as a declaration of a label, that's the ninth thing we do. And how far from the top is it? Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's at location eight. So the relative address is eight. Then we go to the next line. That's the 10th thing we're going to do. Offset is recognized now. Number 10, offset. So if end prog was uh, eight, then offset would be nine. Likewise, we continue, these are all just values in an array. So we just go next, that's offset is nine. 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Value is recognized. Value is recognized as 14. Value 14, relative address is 14. And that's going to be if offset is uh, 9, then it's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That's the value in relation, and that's action number 11. Action number 11. Yeah. And that's it. So basically, oops. So basically, that's all we have to do. I hope that helps.